just do uh, yeah, a bit of an interview. Um, obviously, uh, it, it would just all your sparks. Thanks for that. Kind of no awesome problem. Episode. So, yeah, I mean, just in case people don't know who you are, do you want to uh, start? Introduce with, myself. Yeah, introduce yourself and we'll, we'll, start, we'll uh, find out a little bit about Okay. You. I'm Sanjeev Singh Sahota, I'm a professional boxer, current time with Frank Warren, I'm 11 and 0, um, and my future set will be on 18th of May, and the Billy Joe Sean is on the card. Excellent, it's Stephen as well. Stephen is, that's right, good, it's a good show to be on, um, great on the card, yeah, really good, it's good to be back, it's been a while since I've had the fight, had some medical issues and things like that, but it's all okay now, we're all good, and we're just back in training. Alright, but let's, let's start a little bit from, from the beginning then. Yeah. How, how did you get into boxing? What um, was when I was a younger child, also, I was a bit overweight and things, and uh, I didn't have the best of friends at school, and I uh, got a bit of bullying. Um, basically, I just went to find my sport. I tried football, I was no good, I had two left feet. Um, Who's your team support? Um, I, I went with the family, they're all West Ham, so I have to go with the family, you know what <laughs> I mean? Um, but basically, I just started from there, um, and then I started trying to done a bit of rugby, enjoyed it, and then I moved to Spain. Um, so, I, at the age of 30, I moved to Spain, grew up in Spain. Where I lived, there was a boxer. I went and said, you can come down to the gym. I went to the gym first day. Terrible I was. And I just, from that time, I just, from there, I've, I've always wanted to go back. I've always, and I, I fell in love with the sport also because I watched a, a program series when it first ever came out, The Contender. Yeah, so it was yeah. Sylvester Sloan. Yeah. And that really motivated me. I thought, oh, I want to try this boxing game, out. And then um, I tried it off. Started with kickboxing, believe it or not. I had a few amateur boxing fights in Spain. My career actually started in Spain. Then I got the opportunity to come to the UK. Obviously, met my trainers like Lenny Butcher, um, and and from there really. Um, just going back to obviously moved to Spain. That was with, with yeah. your family. Um, what was that like? Just, you know, it was a big move. Like I'm, uh, like, I, my, I'm blood Indian, born in the UK, lived in Spain. I'm a bit of a mixture. I find myself you each. Speak fluent yeah, Spanish. I do. I think each country has formed a major part of my life. So I wouldn't like to just represent one country. That's why I've even had three yeah, flags on the, that, Yeah, I, I, I because each country has given me so much, and I'm, I'm so valuable for that as well. And I'm so grateful for that because I've met so many great people through my, my short lifespan already, and just been having them experience of moving to countries, going to school, and not speaking a word of Spanish. And um, that was more terrifying walking into a boxing ring. I think when I walked into the classroom at the first time, everyone speaking Spanish. I didn't speak a word. All I knew was like hola. And everyone speaking Spanish, and it just really got jacked in the deep end. Like as well, like cultural wise, obviously Spain. Yeah. Is, you know, there is places where they're known to be a little bit racist or what have you. I'll be honest with you, I, um, they've been good. I can't really say a bad word. You no, know, I've, I've, everyone has ups and downs in life and in wherever you are. Um, it's just how you come over them. Mm. And I looked at the positive side of things, and I met some great people, and still meeting people. And Spain's given me so much. Um, made me feel I want in Spain. I want to be in boxing. That's what really made me. When I was there, I, got, I, I didn't have a lot of friends. So I started watching programs. I got into watching the Contender. I met a guy who started boxing. Went to the boxing gym. And the first gym that was one of Kiko Martinez, who's champion of, of the world, and champion of Spain, champion of Europe. At the moment, he vacated his belt, he won the European title, EBU. Um, so I've met great people through the sport as well, and, and just the sport of boxing. How long were you in Spain for? Um, I've been there till this day, really. I'm always back and forth, Did believe it or not. Yeah, I'll be honest, when I'm... So when I'm in, kind of yeah, there, when no. I'm in the UK now, I'm only here really for the boxing training. Like I call this camp. My family's all based in Spain normally. Um, I've got family all over the place. I've got yeah, my brother yeah. lives in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Um, my sister also lives in Spain. I've got another sister lives in Australia. So we're all over the place. You do some sparring around the world, then? No. <laughs> <laughs> so mainly I've got, I've got all the sparring under guidance of yeah. Lenny Butcher. I've also got a massive shout out to John Camp. He's really helping out. And all the team, do you know what I mean? He's around me. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk. Okay, okay. So in the right, got in regards to your amateur background, in boxing. How many uh, fights did you have? I had roughly about 35 to 40. Um, I had about 10 kickboxing fights. You were sort of because at the time when I was there, um, because. At, before 16, they, at the time they weren't letting you do amateur boxing. That's when you were 16. So I got into kickboxing. I just wanted to. And I, I started with kickboxing. I ended up doing 10 kickboxing fights. Um, I actually won all, I drawed one, um, and then I boxing, I think I had about five losses, um, all on points really, um, and, and that's it, I won the national championships, not like, I couldn't never fight for the Spanish um, championship because I didn't have a, I've got a British passport, but um, I was in the local state championships, won all them, um, even boxer champions of Spain, so it was good. You still follow kickboxing? Like yeah, like, I, I don't personally do it now, train, also I'm training fully focused on boxing now, but um, I've watched it and I, I, the gym where I'm in Spain where we train La Palestra, 
there's, there's kickboxing, there's wrestling, there's all sorts of things. We've got loads of people, different coaches from all our place. There's a guy called Rob as well out there in Spain, he helps out a lot in the boxing side of things. You've got Martin, there, obviously Chema is, is in La Palestra. The list can go on, do you know what I mean? A lot of people don't get the credit they need who are behind the scenes. Like they might see the glory on the night and the boxing, but there's so many people behind it all. And then if it weren't for them people, I wouldn't be where I am today. I'm just grateful that I've got the opportunity to box on this show again. Um, and grateful just moving forward. I can't say anything else, but my first step is on 18th of May. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in, in regards to your pro game, let's mm. just talk a bit about the transition from the amateur to the pro. Um, yeah. yeah, talk to me a little bit about that. I think um, I've always had that sort of sitting on my feet, um, come marching forward, strong. I think Spanish have got the recognition of like of a ball fighting coming forward, strong fighter. So I've had to tweak that and, and be a bit more moving on my toes and stuff. And you learn every day, like today we're sparring and I was, we had a great sparring so today. And you know, I was sparring all different people and it's just all learning. Every day you never stop learning. And bad days make good days in the ring. So it's, it's about learning in the gym, having them bad days, having them struggles in, in the gym for you to progress in the ring. And it's very important. Do you remember who it's against? I can't remember his I name. name he, he's a Bible. foreign fighter. I can't really remember his name. Forgive me. Uh, was that, was oh. that your call? No, that was at the Cop Box. Cop Box, right? Yeah, yeah I remember. I remember was that the Cop Box? Yeah. Um, the undercard of Huge Fury, I think it was, and um, Liam Walsh. Oh, I think right. so, yeah, something like that. What, what was it like? So, Don't get me wrong, his first impression for it. First ring Yeah, walk yeah the build up to the fight was obviously the training camp, was a, a very long, long period. Um, Obviously, been new, first time. It's like anything. You're always gonna have nerves. And I think I met a guy the other day, Frank Bruno, world people's champion and world champion. And I spoke to him. He said, what a gentleman he was. And he said, look, you're always gonna have nerves, no matter what, no matter what level you're at. It's part of the game. If you want nervous, you won't perform. You're not on ball. It's good. Nerves are good. It's good to be sharp. It's good to be a bit of nerves and have that adrenaline and gives you in the stomach. Because if you want nervous, you're not human. And people who say, oh, they're not nervous. It might just try and cover up, but everyone can put a poker face on. I can even put a poker <laughs> face on, don't get me wrong. But it's good, it's all good. It's, it's just, I'm learning, like I said, I'm learning every day. Get that first victory as a pro. Yeah, it was like good. It was a, it was a, it's like a, a relief, you know what I mean? Your hard work's paid off. Um, and then you just push on. I'll be honest with you, my first fight, I didn't expect it to finish so quick because it finished, I think, in the first minute or so. Um, it wasn't the toughest opponent, I'm not going to say. Do you know what I mean? It's a first fight, but it's getting them cobwebs off and obviously first time with nerves and you've got a big crowd, big, big stage. Obviously, um, I was I'm used to boxing in Spain, I was boxing in UK, a big stage, camera lights, changing in the build up. You see a lot of pressure, fighters go under, every fighters go under. So folks can't come over. Yeah, my family, and do you know what? I get, till this day, I get a huge amount of support and I'm very grateful till this day I've always got my supporters and without them, again, like I said, people don't get the credit enough. Without them, you won't be where you are, and I get such a great army, and they're the ones who really drive me, push me, especially on fighting. I've had nights when I need that little push, I can hear him saying, my name's Sandy, so you've been there yourself. And it's just really giving that little push and buzz. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, um, you know, being Asian as well, you must have a lot of Asian. Yeah, of course, of course. Like, obviously, I'm, um, I'm Punjabi Sikh heritage. Um, born in the UK, moved in Spain. That's why I'm a bit of a mixture of everything, really, I, I like to say myself. But it's been, obviously I'm representing a lot of the Sikh community, which yeah. is a blessing. Um, hopefully one day I can grow into a role model to the youngsters in this, in this in later on in this stage. Maybe help other youths get into sport, motivate them, either get into boxing, not even boxing, maybe any sorts of sport, just give them a drive. My, I think my ultimate goal is one day I could help some other people in life, later on in life, is um, be a better person of their self and, and you know, just achieve what, what they're trying to reach for. Um, everyone for us, fight will say I want to win these titles and things, but it's good to think like that. But I think I need to take each step as it comes. And I've always done that. So far, it's got me to where I've been yeah. so far. I mean, talk, talking about a role model, it's, uh, you know, it, 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 you're seeing a lot more of an influx of Asian fights. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Here. Now you've got quite a few. Yeah, um, Hamza, for instance. Yeah, Hamza, yeah, great, great fighter. Fight. Yeah. Um, you know, do you think that like, someone like yourself, when say wins a title, like a British title or something? You're gonna, you're gonna get more, more, more people inspiring. Yeah. Is, that, is that what you? I think, I think it comes, it comes with, with, with the wins. Really, you get you, your, your reputation builds up, um, and there will be 
your reputation will always build up and, and even to this day like my next fight and you get people and you get kids who say oh because you give me a bit of advice or, or nutrition advice or silly things or how can I work on this yeah, and it, you know I'll try and give the best advice I can give them and that's it for their future. So do you think right so at what, at what part do you think out right when I finish boxing yep. what I want to do do you have like a plan in place? Like, yeah outside? I think obviously my um, family have got businesses in Spain which I will continue to do after. Because boxing, you always got to have a plan B as well. Absolutely, and I've always, I don't think many do. No, no, and I think that's where being, you've got to be smart. If you listen to the champions of the world, Flo Mayweather, all that, you always got to have assets to walk onto. Even the world champions are doing it. They invest it, it's about doing the smart investments. And I think, I always, in the family business, I always stay linked with that as well, because during my career, um, and I'm very grateful, obviously, the sponsor and things that come on along the ball. I'm very grateful with them. Um, but obviously, you've got to have a plan B. And boxing don't last forever. Um, every fighter will make the best they can of what they can and they achieve what they can. If I spoke to Frank Bruno, he goes, we're always ducking and diving. And that's what the boxers do. We duck and dive and, and, and we're just trying to make a living. And that is the honest truth. It's not, don't get me wrong, I could have chosen an easy sport. I could have continued to do my business in Spain and just continue the easy way. But I think, do you know what, I want to know that I wish I should have done that, I should have tried that. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's about having that, getting past that factor and just doing it. Well, you've, you know, you've got the desire to do it. And yeah, I think, like, 100%. Like you say, you don't want to turn back and say, well, I have any regrets. Yeah, I don't want to have regrets, you know what I mean? I think you hold your hands up and say, look, I've given it the best I can in life. Whatever you do, whatever things they do, and, and that's the way forward in life. Yeah, well, it sounds like you know you've got your head firmly on the shoulders. Yeah, I think I've, I've got good. I've got good. I'll be honest, I've got a good team around me. They give me good advice. Obviously, like Lenny Butcher covers all the boxing. He's more of a more of a just a mentor for me. Do you know what I mean? He's more of the far figure. He's the head coach. He's got guidance. We've got loads of people in the club helping us. We've got John. We've got Warren. We've got our nutritionist um, Paul on the terms of boxing skills. We've got my strength and conditioning coach Cameron Hay and fitness first. Uh, Nigel, also my yeah. physio. The list can go on. And then obviously people are away from that actual boxing training. There's a lot of people like my family, um, even Jay's Benny's like a family as well. My brother, he, he plays a major part. My mum and dad, my sister, my brother-in-law, they're all, do you know what I mean? They're all, like, my list can just go on and on and on. But without every people putting their 10% in makes it hundreds of me. So they don't get the credit and I, I'm very grateful to have them behind me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, um, do you, you work uh, with John and Diamond. Yeah, well. that's right, that's right. Tell us a little bit about Diamond. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Diamond, I've seen him progress literally from from the very beginning to so much now. He's, he's doing so well. Uh, he's got his next fight now on, I think, is it the 4th of May? 4th of May. Yeah. So he's looking good. He, like, obviously, today he's sparring, so he looked well, yeah. look conditioned. So I think it's just got to move and move on to next fights and fights. And obviously John and Lenny are in there looking after him as well. He's getting spying he's, he's, he's travelling to other gyms as well, so it's good. And he's got boys from other gyms coming down as well. Yeah, it's, 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 we all learn off each other, do you know what I mean? I think no one's ever better than anyone in this world. Everyone can apport something in life. Absolutely. Well, well, listen, before we go, um, do you want to, um, I know you've kind of done it, thanks to anyone, sponsors and your social media. Yeah, obviously, um, follow my story and my journey on my social media, Sanjeev Singh's Hotel, you've got an Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Um, thank you to all my team. As you can see, um, that's our family company, Hindu Sunny Foods. We've got Ben in Constructions here as well. We've got Pro Nutritionist. We've also got the Seat Channel, which is another influence who are giving me a lot of coverage or obviously all my team moves behind me in the boxing scenes, in the family scenes, you don't worry about my, my mentor, my father, my mother, my sisters, my brothers, about them and, and just people outside the boxing way and like I said this can just go on and on, there's people I might miss, even in Spain, my list can, I couldn't stop thanking people, I'm sorry if I didn't miss anyone that, but um, <laughs> yes, it was like sports therapy, Lee Miller Turner and it can just go on and obviously thank you to you guys for doing this interview and the coverage because boxers don't get enough and it's a hard sport as it is it's hard to and we all, all us like i said every fight is just ducking and diving trying to earn a living and that is the only truth and it's funny because we can choose different livings all of us fighters probably could but it's something in us in the blood that in our heart that we we do get fighters who don't have the opportunity to do that but i think now what that tells you about myself i've got the opportunity to choose a different living but i'm still fighting so 
I'm fighting with heart there, and, and a lot of people, if you can't get, fighters can't get it. Some people have to fight, I'm fighting with heart. And I'll tell you something, whoever I fight, I'll, I'll give my full heart to it. Absolutely, we're obviously looking forward to your journey. Thank you very much. Just finding tickets, people can get tickets. Yeah, on 18th of May, obviously, I'm fighting uh, Stephen John, the undercard of Billy Joe Saunders. So please um, message me on my social media, contact me. Um, if you just message me on social media, I can tell you the ticket information and just get them as soon as possible and I'll get them allocated and seated allocated. And I appreciate all the support and all the support growing and watch the other fighters come up as well. There's great, great cards. Um, and that's it. Thank you for being part of Team Tower. Cheers. Thank you very much.